All land managers, owners, and tenants struggle to answer the same question. How can we meet our need for food, fuel, and fiber in a way that's both sustainable and climate resilient? Land is finite, but the demands against it are diverse and growing. Decision makers are now looking for new ways to meet their many national goals and international commitments. Restoring degraded and deforested lands may be one way to meet these seemingly competing needs. Across the planet, more than 2 billion hectares of degraded land offer little for humans or nature. We can bring health and productivity back to these lands and prepare for the needs of the future. But where to start and how to proceed? Introducing the Restoration Opportunity Assessment Methodology, or ROAM in English. ROAM is a flexible framework for identifying restoration opportunities at national and subnational levels. ROAM can help countries, institutions, and individuals identify the best places to begin restoration, as well as what strategies to employ in different regions. Rome explains how these strategies can serve important goals for rural development, biodiversity conservation, and food, energy, and water security. The process begins when an institution or community that manages land decides they might want to restore a portion of it. They will ask the question, what are the main problems caused by degradation? And they'll try to identify the goals of successful intervention. With these goals in mind, an assessment team can be assembled to facilitate this process, composed of a leader, an economist, a land use specialist, and a social scientist. As Rome is a bottom-up process, the assessment team will meet right away with key stakeholders and local experts to understand the required scope of the assessment. Will the goal be to improve water flows or to improve crop yields or wildlife habitat? Restoration activities can bring many diverse benefits. Next, the team and its local advisors will identify the kinds of degraded land in the assessment area and determine the most appropriate interventions to restore each type. Then, they will gather and analyze data on the physical and ecological aspects of the land, social and economic factors, and on the policy, legal and institutional context for restoration. Each kind of analysis will inform the others, with the best available data joining with local knowledge to create a complete picture, even in places where data is missing. Some outputs of Rome will highlight the costs and benefits of restoration options, the best places to start restoration, and analyses of financial options and policy instruments that need to be strengthened or put in place for success down the road. When their analysis is done, the assessment team will be able to produce maps and reports that can allow decision makers to build a coherent plan for restoration at any scale. These plans can feed into national goals or international commitments. They could also influence land use decisions at the local level. In some cases, new funding for restoration can be unlocked as a result. Rome establishes the knowledge base and collaborative engagement necessary to understand land use trade-offs at a landscape scale and allow any user to begin restoring the health and productivity of degraded areas. Together we can return a resource-strapped, degrading planet into a vibrant, productive one again. <laughs>